I don't hate perfumes very often, but when I do, I hate them with a passion. And that's what this video is about. Uh, I don't have too many fragrances that I really, really dislike, but there are a few. And I want to discuss those fragrances and what alternatives are much better. Uh, so we'll start very simple uh, with Voyage d'Hermes. Hermes is a very high quality French brand, but this fragrance disappointed me. Not, this isn't a bad smelling fragrance, it's not a disgusting fragrance. However, its longevity is disgusting. That's because this is, this is an eau de toilette, but that doesn't forgive it from being as weak as it is. This is primarily a kind of a citrusy, ocean, fresh air sort of fragrance. You can get an idea of how fresh it's supposed to be from this horse galloping across the fresh ocean. Um, it's a really nice fragrance, but it doesn't last as long as it should. For, in my opinion, especially because this is a luxury fragrance, it's more expensive, it's more than $100, this should last much longer. It only lasts, I would say, an hour. Very weak. Um, and even though it has a really nice kind of icy margarita, salty smell, which I think is very pleasant, it's not worth it. If it's gonna disappear, it's not worth it. So, from my fragrance adventures, uh, in my opinion, the best alternative would be Invictus by Paco Rabanne. This has very uh, similar notes. It has that light, citrusy, ocean-esque sort of thing, and it lasts much, much longer. Um, it's, it's definitely... This is a men's fragrance, but it, pretty much for this video, I'm, I'm gonna say everything is unisex because this is about the quality. This is about the performance. So this is definitely a much better alternative to Voyage del Mis. Uh, just because it's stronger, it's more complex, um, it still has that light crisp thing, which uh, Voyage del Mis is trying to accomplish, but this does it much, much better. So if you're going to spend money on a high quality fragrance, which Paco Rabanne obviously produces high quality fragrances, just get this, it's a much better option to that down there which is going to disappear pretty much soon after you put it on. So, there you go. Then, here's another thing. This might be controversial. Red Door. Red Door is more of an old-fashioned fragrance, and I have a soft spot for old-fashioned fragrances, so I'm not dissing this entirely. But some people don't like this. The thing I don't like about it is that it's a little sharp, it's a little powdery. It's... It just kind of too light, maybe a bit too simple, and, you know, if you want something more complex, more interesting, this is primarily a floral fragrance, by the way, many florals combined into this, but the longevity, again, is kind of not great, and the florals, there's a lot of them, but you don't really get all of them when you smell it. So a much better alternative, in my opinion, is... Let's see, this very small sample of Miss Dior. There's many versions of Miss Dior. This is the 2021 version. You could also get Blooming Bouquet. It's pretty similar. Miss Dior, I would say, is a much better uh, floral fragrance. It's similar to Red Door. It has many of the same notes, but it's way more powerful, way more well-developed, way more feminine, not as sharp, and doesn't have those powdery notes. Uh, and also, anything from Dior is bound to be high quality, so you're not going to be disappointed when you get it. Um, it's a little bit sweeter than Red Door, but still not a sugary sweetness. It's just a nice, fresh, floral sweetness. So, definitely a really good option um, for those who don't really like Red Door. Or want something more powerful than Red Door, because Miss, Miss Dior is definitely more potent. Then, here's another one. Um, this kind of goes against my own judgment, but I know the overall consensus about this particular perfume. This is Youth Do by Estee Lauder, and a lot of people hate it. I don't, 
It is, it is a very, very, str I see why people hate it, because it's so strong, so potent, and so spicy that it could just make people nauseous, it could give people a headache. Uh, so if you fall into that category and you can't stand this, but you want a really spicy and heavy perfume, then the perfect alternative would be, if you'll focus, this is Coco by Chanel. This came out in the 80s and is technically it's more modern than Youth Do because Youth Do came out in 1953. This is a really, really delicious, spicy fragrance. Uh, it has cloves in the same way that Youth Do does, so kind of the same profile there. Some floral notes and overall it's a very spicy, warm fragrance. Powerful, definitely. Um, pretty much the same longevity and projection level as Youth Do. Uh, with a little, it's it's a bit softer, and I'm not saying that's it's weak because it's definitely not, just a bit more smoothed out compared to Youth Do, because uh, Youth Do is very kind of sharp and in your face. Coco is uh, more more subdued power. Uh, great great longevity. It'll last all day, all evening, and being from Chanel, it's natural to expect that this is a very high quality fragrance. Um, so definitely a really good alternative to Youth Do if you want something in the same category but just a little bit different. Then, here's one that I stand by with all my, my heart. This is Marc Jacobs' Decadence. I can't stand this. If you noticed, if you saw my original review of it, uh, you would have noticed that I said it was similar to vinegar or pickles or that sort of thing. Which is interesting because this is supposed to be a gourmand fragrance, a sweet sort of fragrance. And the thing about Decadence, obviously by its name it's supposed to be this luxurious sort of fragrance, but it just doesn't come across that uh, as that for me. I think it's it's just not one of my favorites. It's 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 this spicy weird sweet mixture and it it just doesn't seem to fit well it, it's just a very strange and unpleasant sort of fragrance uh not only to me but to a lot of people I, i've seen a lot of people who say similar things about it so if you're looking for a high quality gourmand sweet fragrance skip decadence instead go for la vie belle by lacombe this is a much, much better option. I'm not even a big fan of sweet perfumes, but this is this is really good in my books. This is really a true gourmand fragrance. It has notes of praline, which is like this dessert, sweet, caramely thing, and then some floral notes. Um, overall, uh, there's some fruity notes as well, black currant. This is a great perfume. Super feminine, light, playful, sweet. Um, a great daytime fragrance. Definitely not pickle-esque as Decadence is. So if you want a nice sweet perfume, nice feminine perfume, go with this one. You'll you'll not regret it as you might with Decadence. Then the last one is another one I also very strongly stand by. This is a very shiny card for Versace Eros Pour Femme. This get an idea of the notes inside there. Uh, I don't like this at all because despite all these notes that are supposed to be in here, really only the strongest note is uh, the pomegranate and that's it. It's very weak and um, pretty much as soon as I put it on uh, I got that pomegranate note and it was there. It was kind of like the shower gel pomegranate note and then it was gone within probably 30 minutes, super weak, which is very disappointing considering this is a Versace fragrance. Um, especially considering that it's even related to the original Versace Eros for Men, which is a bomb. It'll fill up the room. It'll last forever. So if you're looking for a fruity fragrance that'll actually last, uh, and that's more complex than a single pomegranate note, then I would recommend Polo Red. This is a men's fragrance. This Versace one is obviously a woman's fragrance. 
but this is surprisingly sweet and light for a men's fragrance. It has some ginger, it has uh, some fruity notes. Very similar, actually. Kind of this clean yet fruity scent, but this is longer lasting. I'm not saying this is a huge, super long lasting fragrance, but it's definitely longer lasting than Versace Eros Parfum. And I would say five to six hours of longevity, which is pretty good. So definitely if you're looking for a nice kind of juicy, fruity uh, fragrance, this is a much, much better option than Versace Eros Parfum. So that's pretty much all I have to say about my most hated uh, fragrances and also some good alternatives. If you have any opinions about uh, these fragrances, you can leave those down in the comments below. If you liked the video, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.